And now we'll talk a bit about Newton's third law of motion. And this is something that you're actually already familiar with. If you've ever taken a balloon and blown it up and then let it go, you know what happens. Air rushes out of the balloon and the balloon flies around the room. And the air goes this way and the balloon goes that way. And it's the air pushing out the back of the balloon that causes the balloon to be propelled forward. A rocket actually works on the same principle. You can draw a little rocket in your notes here too. A rocket works just like a balloon. If this is the rocket, and we'll put the engine cone back here, and some fins to keep it straight. The way a rocket works is by expelling exhaust out the back. When the rocket engine fires, all of these flames shoot out the back. And what it's doing is basically burning rocket fuel. And rocket fuel is extremely explosive. And the shape of this engine cone is designed to accelerate it all out the back here really, really fast. And as the exhaust gets pushed out the back, an equal and opposite effect happens on the rocket, and it gets pushed forward. The exact same principle at work pushing the balloon is, this, is, is at work pushing the rocket around. And that principle is Newton's third law of motion. Now I'll state Newton's third law, and you can write it into the notes here. But think about what you're writing as you write it. Don't just copy the words down. It should make sense. Think about what you're putting on the page here. If one object, if one object exerts a force on a second, if one object exerts a force on a second, then the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first. The second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first. Now, because of this, Newton's third law is sometimes called the law of action and reaction. The law of action and reaction. And it's sometimes stated this way. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And you see that example with the balloon and the rocket. Well, you could consider the, the air being forced out of the balloon as the action, and then the balloon being forced forward as the reaction. Or with the rocket, the person in charge, the person driving or flying the rocket, he turns on the rocket engine, and that causes the, the rocket fuel to be blasted out the back. That is the action. The reaction to that is the rocket being propelled forward. And because one force is, is commonly called an action and the other one is commonly called a reaction, it's often called the law of action and reaction. And it's sometimes stated that way. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction.